All right, welcome everyone. My name is Kurt. I am a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I want to give you guys just a quick tutorial on uh, how I'm using levels adjustments for some of my rendering. It's a really quick sort of fast way to get some uh, brighter highlights. Uh, it's one of many ways to do it, but I'll show you guys how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to be making a levels adjustment. And, uh, but if I just go to my levels adjustment and start making adjustments, it's going to change everything equally. So it becomes kind of hard to see how your adjustments are actually affecting the rest of the image because we don't have the baseline to compare it to. So I'm going to cancel that and just make a few selections here. And it doesn't really matter where they are. Maybe put a few on the faces and just to get some idea about what the changes I'm going to make actually look like relative to what's already on the canvas. So this is under the inks. I'm just going to right click that. And now that I have these selections here, whenever I make a new levels correction, so I can now see how that levels adjustment is actually impacting the image and I'm able to compare it to what's already there. So I'll show you how this works. Uh, there are three arrows here, a little uh, at the bottom of this uh, screen, and this works the same way in Photoshop. Or, uh, but if I grab this rightmost arrow and drag it to the left, it's going to start adding white. It's going to start brightening up all those colors that are underneath, and you can see that here. But this is the equivalent of just making the color that's there already brighter, which is not always the most interesting thing. It can get kind of boring pretty quick. So in addition to doing this brightening on the RGB channel, let's say I also want this light to feel warm. I want it to be like an orangey warm light. So I'm going to go down to the red channel first, and I'm going to grab the middle arrow. I'm going to pull that a little bit to the left. You can see that it's tinting this light now a little bit red. And if I pull that middle arrow to the right, then it tints it more toward uh, like a blue cyan color. But I want this to be a little bit warmer, so I'm going to tint it a little bit warmer. And then I'm going to go to the blue channel, which left will make it cooler, and right will add, uh, I believe, yellow, basically, to that. The opposite of blue. And uh, so now you can see that by mixing that with the red, I've got a bit of a, like a warm orangey lighting color on this. So now that I'm done with that, I can just press OK. And you can see we've still got our little previous selections there. And they're all part of the mask that was attached uh, when we created this uh, levels adjustment. So I'm going to go to the levels adjustment, make sure that I have the transparency selected, and just fill that to get rid of those original selections. And now I can come in with any tool or any combination of tools like if I wanted to get a, just a brush, start painting this in wherever I want the light, that's going to work anywhere on the canvas, obviously. Anything that I want to brush away, I just go back to the transparency or go back to black in Photoshop, and that will remove the lighting from the mask. So everything we're doing is on this mask. Uh, if I want to make a selection first and then switch to a soft brush and do like a cut and grad sort of look, I could. So the same things that I would do on a layer, I can do to this mask. And you can have as many of these as you want. So let's say that I've made some, uh, some lighting adjustments to this, and then I want to push it even more, but I, I don't want to affect what's already there. Well, I can now just duplicate this layer. We can Control C, Control V, or just right click, duplicate. E either one gets you there. Well, now you can see it's affected twice as much because you know, I've doubled the layer. So you can always delete that second new mask and add a new one. If you hold down Alt and then click the mask, that will mask off that entire area. So now I can get on top of this with additional highlights if I want to. And so I've got two layers basically of, uh, of lighting that I can add to my scene without having to think a whole lot about picking a whole bunch of colors and if you ever get in a crunch or something and want a quick, nasty way to make a bunch of highlights, this is a really fast way to do it. The other reason I like using this at times is I've noticed that if you set it up the way that I did, the brighter colors will get even brighter. But darker colors, they will get brighter, but they won't be affected quite as much if you move it in the way that I've adjusted it here. So anyway, quick video, but I hope this was helpful. 
as always, check the links in the description. Check out my courses. Subscribe, like, click buttons. See you all in the next one.